What is up, everybody? This is Drewsfer from Xbox Live coming at you with some more Borderlands. Got another Necromancer video here for you today. Uh, this time around, I'm going to be running the Hyperion Circle of Slaughter. Same build as before. Uh, just a really awesome new skin I wanted to show off. Uh, this is the uh, Supremacy skin from the uh, add ons pack that is available for download. It's a pretty sweet looking skin, I thought. Uh, but anyway. I just finished off my commando, which was the last character I had to make, uh, and a didn't really have a lot of fun with the commando, but uh, after running through with all five characters, I have to say I'm really, really, really growing attached to the Mechromancer. Now when I f uh, first got the game, I gravitated towards Zero because I was a big Mordecai fan in the previous game. Any game that offers an assassin type class, I'll usually take, because uh, usually in the parties I play um, with my friends, I like to sit in the back uh, at a vantage point and provide cover while my friends run in and clear things out. So that was cool, and so because of that, Zero and Mordecai will always kind of have a number, number one spot by default. But uh, that aside, I really have to say that I really, really like the Mechromancer. She is by far my favorite character in this game. Uh, she's her, she's very dynamic, and she has uh, quite a unique set of skills in comparison to the others in terms of the way uh, her tree is built and uh, just the way she performs. I mean, each of the characters is good for something. They all have their strong points, and they all have their weaknesses. But uh, she is definitely some, a force to be reckoned with, this Mechromancer. And um, so I wanted to make another video of uh, me doing what I do with her. Uh, you can see here I got a ton of side quests left to clear out. But uh, yeah, it's the same build as it was in the last video uh, for me, but yeah, she's got a lot of great stuff. I mean, if you like the death trap, there's a lot of stuff in here to support the death trap. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff in here to support, uh, general gameplay for her. She's good from distances. She's good from up close, mostly up close. If you're going to play anarchy, um, because accuracy falls to the wayside with anarchy. And, you know, some, if some people, they really, really like anarchy, then, you know, you fill up pre-shrunk cyberpunk you put in the legendary class mod you can get like 600 anarchy stacks going which is pretty ridiculous but me i'm a discord guy you know like i said in my last video i'm discord shock that's what i built her for that's what i like to do so i don't need huge anarchy stacks but it's the same setup with the equipment same everything um we're just gonna go wreck the uh, hyperion circle of slaughter so uh here we go let's do it
no, no, no! <laughs> <laughs>